Hello, well, it's now late September, six months on from where we first started. It's early in the morning, I have my fresh cup of tea. The sound of the geese going overhead, uh, coming back for winter. So why am I here six months after I started this little project? Come on dog, out you come. Because, oh, <laughs> not enough hands. Um, it just didn't work. It didn't work in any way, shape or form. As soon as I started playing, it just sounded muddy and horrible and I couldn't get the home orchestra to sound anything like I really wanted. And I think the problem was, bear with me here, the sample rate we used to record the samples was just too low. So we were recording at 96 kilohertz, you may remember, which means that I can go down one octave and still have um, a full bandwidth signal because then every time you go down an octave you halve the sample rate. And that wasn't enough. So now I have a brand new interface which runs at 192, which means that we can go down two octaves. And I tell you, it makes the world of difference. Right, here we go. So we've got all this set up. Now, here's the difference. Um, here's my kazoo brass patch. It's just so much fuller. If you look at what's going on in there, um, what we've got is a, um, where's my little instrument? Come up, here we are. So there's the kazoo, it's looped. I've got one, two, three layers of kazoo <laughs> and they're all uh, mapped inside here. Look, they're panned left, right and center. Um, they are, uh, it's well down. I mean, cause they, they, was, they, was, they were up here, so they were. They were around there, but if I go down one octave, two octaves, I'm still getting... So I like that. Um, that's very workable. I've got a sort of string pad equivalent thing here as well, which works with something similar. This is, a, this is using the pan pipe, but as you'll hear... Much, much, much better. Now what I've done with this one, I've taken, um, I tell you what, let me just show you what, which, uh, I'll show you what these sound like, uh, first of all, in their raw state. Uh, let me find, uh, here we go, so let's take one of these. That's pretty much what it was originally. So that extra sample rate gives us much, much more flexibility. So when I then take that, loop it, um, I'm getting a, a patch which sounds like this. Let's go to my home orchestra. Uh, where's the string, P, string pad, there we go. Let's give that one a go. So what we got is three of them. And I'm using um, isotopes sort of paint. Look, you can see the line around it there. That's the, um, the L area of the sound I'm using from that one. But then I've got other ones. Do you see it's got this kind of slight whistly thing as it goes down? It was an accent, but it sounds great, I think. So I like that. And then there's just, okay, there's just two of them in that one. So look, and some of them we're going to make up as we go along. So let's now get down to the business in hand of scoring Metropolis. There's no hard hits in here. Look, it just emerges out of the darkness and it hits about bar three. So we want something which is going to sort of It wants a slightly dark overtone to it, I think. Okay, are we going to stick with 120? Let's say, we'll 
stay with that for the moment. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to need that. I'm not sure if it doesn't make things more um, uh, cluttered a bit. Right, let's go to now. We're going to create a bass drum, but this can pretty much be. So this is a box tap. So we've got the home orchestra. We went. Remember that. Um, now we're going to um, get one of those in lid box. There we go. Let's try that. Let's try it. Let's see if there's a louder one. Uh, let's take. All right. Here we go. Let's, that's better. You can only take it down so far. Okay, I'm going to go with that drum. And I might be even able to play a little. Oh, where did I stick that? Hang on. Wrong folder. Okay, let's try that. Now, I'm tempted to bounce that one out um, because I might also run some of them backwards. And so we get a kind of, let's see what I can do with that. Okay. I like the original, I like the brass kazoo. It, I like it because it still sounds like a kazoo. But actually, it's starting to work quite well. Let's see now if I run one backwards and the other forwards. Okay, what happens if I pitch that down some more, this gong thing? Let's see what happens. Actually, something I was experimenting with, which might work, it's weird, but the, if you put in a pitch shift plug-in, it gives you a sort of weird, weird effect, and it just might help. Let's alt in a sound shift, a stereo. Okay, this is one from um, Waves, which I quite like. Second one. Okay. not in tune. This has been a problem all along. It's sharp. Bring it down a bit, see if I can make it. <laughs> this is not an exact science, is it? So let's see if I just take it down a tiny bit. I'm going to say that's fine. <laughs> I am. I'm going to say that's fine. Have I reminded you to subscribe to the channel yet? Go on. Doesn't cost you anything. And you never know what exciting, entertaining and informative uh, piece of video will come flying towards you. All you get is notifications and things like that. So subscribe and join us in our little world. Now, meanwhile.
now we need something which is very mechanical, which is going to run through this bit here. Um, now I've got a... Where did I have my little kind of... It's a sort of gamelan-y sort of triangle-y sound. Let me just see if I can make this sound any better. Uh, I'm going to add a slightly cleaner note on the top. What are we doing this in? Are we doing da 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 da? We might do actually. I think that might work better because it might give a more. Or are we doing a more? Okay. Let's see. Let's try a sixteenths. I'm putting in step time. Sure. Can I bring the volume of those down a bit so that the bottom one is high? Okay. Um, I may need to go into the little act. Let's see if I can ramp up the velocity, sensitivity for the whole instrument. Uh, velocity, oh, here we go. That's better. Oh, okay, let's play with the release here. Those two bars work. Yeah, it should do. Okay, Let's see if that works now. Okay, now let's find another instrument. Um, what have we got going on down here? We need something shorter, like a spiccato or staccato. I think I did make one, something like that. Let's go and have a little see what I can find. And okay, home orchestra, bell, bass, drum, high tick, Kaz stack. Let's give that one a go. <laughs> Just no. 
I apologize to everybody for even thinking that thought. Um, had a PP, PP, think PP, try pits. That's the same thing, really. Quite like it. So it sort of breathes, doesn't it? Now somewhere I had a big throbby sound. Uh, let me try and find it. Um, I need deep thump, high whistle, grace note. Let's try pad. Okay. So what I've got here is I've got an LFO modulating the gain. let I'm just going to let that one roll along underneath and then I'm going to put other stuff on the top. Right, so we're going to let this just, I quite like this just doing its thing to start with. I mean, look, look, all this comes from this, from this. Ridiculous. Who would have thought it? Okay, look, it's going fine. It's going fine. I just need to tidy. Th There's some strange stuff going on here somewhere. Um, let's just find worthy. Oh. cut everything off there and then we go for straight now we ought to be able to do this easy enough we ought to be able to just create uh... the, for the whistles this is the one thing the pan pipe should be perfect for isn't it so we don't need uh, 
any kind of stylized pan pipey thing. We just want, you know, big pan pipey sound. So let's see what we've got. What's this one? Not enough. Nothing like enough. <laughs> Let me stack them up. What's that? That's an eight. Let's put let's go nine. And a third one? What do you think? Or is it going to make it worse? Uh, ten. Oh, that's obviously not working. Who edited these? Look at this brother. Another long one. Well, that's, that, that works. Hang on, let me just tri trim the front off this so we just get this bit. That's it. No, not this bit. This bit here. That's it. Right, we've got to tune it now, and then what I do... Oh, it's not far off! <laughs> Fine. Let's just bring them all down a little bit. It doesn't matter if they're not absolutely right for this one either, does it? Let's go into the mixer. Where's the mixer gone? Oh, it's up here, isn't it? There we go. around a bit. So where's the first one coming? So I need a couple more in there. Now this is, these are dead hits because this is uh, effectively put a whole load of notes in I can get rid of the ones I don't want so let's go there's the first one okay let's go with those two top ones see what that sounds like let's turn snapping off so I can just drag them around as I want then moving in all right the second one's coming there so the first one so let's delay that a little bit <laughs> Such a cacophony. Uh, take one out and then put a new one in. Um, okay, try this. Ready? <laughs> Trying to make things quite discordant because this is not a nice place. And what we could do is bounce it and then put a very subtle pitch fade on the end. See how that works. Um, let's get the pitch thing up, the pitch envelope processes, pitch shift, there it is, right, reset. So what we're going to do is put a very subtle
not very subtle. Gonna, now we need this kind of I need something to tie me into this section and then I'm going to work out exactly now what are we going to do here um, I didn't like that what, you did like it? No, I, I'm sorry, I just... I need something more... Um, I could take the... I'll take one of these string things and make it go whoom or something. Or find another strange sound in there which I haven't used yet. Um, see if there's anything weird in the... Let's try down the bottom here. Think about the music, stop thinking about the sounds. This works. Um, now, the interesting problem I have is because it's whew, it's not speaking very quickly, so I'm going to need to adjust the whole thing and move it forward a tiny bit. Quantize it so it's really boof. if I gate this. What I mean is, what happens if I then go... quite like that it's a little extra texture underneath there it makes it I think work a little bit better I think I'm going to bring in an extra bit of string line in here. Now I'm going to leave it, I'm not going to put it in there. First time around, I'm just going to let it in, then I'm going to come in on the E flat. 
Okay, so it's gone. For C minor to E flat minor. So E flat minor could go to G flat minor, or it could go to. I think I've succeeded after about six months. It's interesting. I really like Iris. I think it's uh, an interesting sound creation tool, and it just shows. You know, you can start with something as unpromising as that, and end up with something which it's not. You know, it's probably not how you would choose necessary to score Metropolis. But yeah, I think I think I've got far enough to claim that I've actually managed to do it. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this, and um, if you found it entertaining, useful, uh, thought-provoking, then obviously um, I would invite you to subscribe to our channel and join us. Now, if you'd like a copy of these raw recordings, see what you can do with them, um, the iris instruments I've created and things like that, then click the link below and you can um, download a copy of all that kind of stuff, um, plus some other um, free bits and pieces we've thrown in as well. But give it a go and have a go and see what you can do with uh, these weird and wonderful instruments. But for the time being, anyway, from me, thank you very much for your company and we'll see you again very soon.